click the button, subscribe. I love Balot. I love Durian. I love Isao. I don't think food should be considered scary at all, but I'm a little nervous to try to Dutch drop, aka black licorice. So here I have the Venco brand. I think this brand is popular. They've been making it for 135 years now. I think that's what it says here, 135. I Google translated it. This is in uh, cat form. It's called Petch's Drop. I hope I said that right. And the Dutch uh, referred to black licorice as drop. My boyfriend had this when he was in the Netherlands. This stuff he just did not like. This type of black licorice he wasn't a fan of. Which makes me nervous because we both have the same tastes. Black licorice does have a bad reputation. I mean even Nickelodeon created this click a jig it's called a click a jig it's their flash games when i was a kid i played it and there was one called black licorice the game opens and you just see three cute little kids and they're in halloween costumes and then you have a plate with candy on it and there's like some caramels then there are black licorice pieces right and once you take a black licorice and you drop it into their bag the scene cuts to the kid that you gave it to and the kid looks at it and is like black licorice and then their eyes pop out they get a devil tongue and then they start growing horns and they get all possessed and say i hate black licorice so i saw that as a kid and i got super traumatized i was like oh my gosh this black licorice stuff must be really gross okay so a lot of people don't like the taste of anise licorice and fennel there's kind of like that weird taste and if you've ever tried any of these three i think you know what i'm talking about but apparently there's this compound present in these three herbs that are also present in artificial sweeteners and i i guess i was reading online that's why people don't like it all right so no more dilly dallying this stuff i, hope, I really hope i liked it i mean it was 3.99 which isn't too bad but i've been staring at this at my desk forever and i really hope i end up liking it it's open. It's finally open. Oh my god. Okay, so I smell it. It kind of has like a very like like sweet smell. So this is what it looks like. It's a cute little kitty cat. Look at it. It's a cat. Meow. Cat just drop. Here goes nothing. It has that. It has that strong licorice taste, and it has an artificial sweetener taste. It's kind of bitter. It's not salty though. It's not that salty, but it's pretty strong. <clears throat> okay, I didn't chew it all the way, but I swallowed it. I just, I guess I kind of wanted to get, just get rid of it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, <laughs> with all due respect, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy it again. I don't like it that much. <laughs> all right, well, I thought that's over. I'm trying to get the taste out of my mouth, so it's time for some fun facts. I'm gonna drop some fun facts for you. <laughs> but um, did you know that the Dutch eat the most licorice per capita than every other person in the world? They eat about four pounds of licorice on average, which doesn't seem like a lot, but this is 5.8 ounces, and there is, there's a lot in here. There's, that's not, that's not all of it. That's just a little bit. That's, there's still a lot in this bag. Fun fact two. Licorice is extracted from an herb called Glyceriza glabra, which I hope I said correctly. And that stuff is um, an herb, and it's used for medicinal purposes, such as treating stomach ulcers, or just acid reflux, or the common cough. And this stuff was used by bougie people long ago, like kings and emperors. Fun fact three. Until 1731, licorice root was used mainly for medicinal purposes, and then this dude named Giorgio Amarelli took it and turned it into candy. Just like chocolate was cacao, and cacao was really healthy, and then we just put a bunch of milk and sugar in it. And fun fact number four. Netherlands is the top producer and consumer of licorice in the world! And I wonder if it's because 
Back then, they thought that it was really good for you. It's all for medicinal purposes. And now that it's turned into candy, there's sugar in it, so I guess it's dessert. Is that why it's so popular? Fun fact, oh, I don't know if this is a fun fact, but it's a fact. So some forms of drop have ammonium chloride in it, which is what gives it its salty flavor. And you're like, whoa, 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 ammonium chloride, that sounds really poisonous. That's what I thought, but it's actually just crystalline, crystalline, is it crystalline? Crystalline white salt. That stuff is apparently used to treat coughs. So you've got this ammonium chloride, and then you have glycer, glyceriza glabra, which is a licorice root, and then you just put it together in a candy. That's basically cough syrup. Okay, now the taste is gone, is mostly gone from my mouth. I really have no regrets trying it out. I eat ventured, I tried it. I finally know that I probably won't be reaching for it again, but then in the future I'll probably see one in a different color or see a different variant and I'll be like, sure, why not? I'll try it. It might be a little different. I'll have that hope. And then maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. I have a feeling I still won't like it. It's just not my cup of tea. Well, that is all that I have planned for you today, adventurers. Thank you for tuning in and stop by again next week. I will have a new video and it'll be fun and it'll be something that I really love to eat, but a lot of people are scared of it and I really don't know why because it's really good. So tune in for that. I'm gonna show you what the best way is to eat it. Thanks for tuning in. You have uh, actually seen me try licorice for the first time and I survived, and you can too, so keep adventuring.